everyone, it's Shel C from Paper Rock Tio Studio and today is day 21 of Hashtag Art Journal Habit 2018, a daily art journaling challenge brought to you by Art Joy Sharing Facebook group. Uh, the prompt for today, day 21, is her. And so I wanted to do a page about a important issue for women, for hers, <laughs> for those hers out there. Um, I had thought of this originally when we were doing some planning on the live show. Um, we, were, we were looking at some different um, magazines and I had seen these pages. It was in an October magazine that was about um, making sure that you do, do self-examination of your breast and that you take care of your health in that way. And there was all these little drawings and I just I thought they were cute and I wanted to use them on a page. Of course, October was over by that point, so Breast Cancer Awareness Month was over, but it, you should never not be aware of it. You should never not be doing your exam, exams and getting your mammograms. So that's what I wanted to make my page about. It's a quick page because it's just a little bit of paint and some stenciling and uh, some collage and some integration, and that's it. But of course got to use pink. Lots of pink. So I started out with different pink colors of paint. Um, there's blushing and uh, I forget what that other pink is. Magenta from the Dina Wakeley line um, acrylics. Then there's an Americana pink that is some sort of a neon and then I end up bringing in a really nice neon at the end that's from PBO that I just got. PBL Studio Acrylics, an actual real live neon. I, I have a problem with neon paints in my studio. They dry up really quick, and I don't know. I don't know why that is. It's weird. But I'm using a couple of the stencils that come in a stencil pack. I think it's called Half Tone Dots, and um, it has four different sizes of dots, and you can stack one on top of the other on top of the other to make this interesting pattern. But I'm just using the dots. Um, circles represent some female things to me in my own personal symbology. Um, the idea of the womb and then the idea of other circular things <laughs> that exist on a female's body, you know, with curvy circular things. So I wanted to use the circle imagery and so I did and I just did several layers of acrylic paints to make my background with the stencils um, and to cover up what was on the page already. There was some white uh, gesso on there, but it really wasn't covering up all the, the junk that was on there, which uh, my, my journal, this um, challenge is made out of mailers that come in the mail, the cardboard ones. And there was just, it was, had a lot of stuff on it writing and it just wasn't getting covered up. So I had to put a few different layers of my pink paints and, and white gesso mixed in to uh, make my background. So then I'm just taking some of the images from this, these two magazine pages that were together in the magazine. Uh, one of them is, was about uh, getting the right bra fit. Uh, you know, that's a thing. <laughs> it's kind of tricky. And then the other one was about uh, breast self-examination. And it had all these different drawings of different shaped women, which, you know, we don't all look the same. And I, I really liked it. I just thought, you know, maybe maybe some people would be offended by seeing these drawings. But, oh, well, you know, uh, it's about health, people. It does. It's not about pornography here. It's about health. They're just simple drawings and simple little line drawings and colors of different shapes. And so I tore out the ones that were my favorites and I wanted to make an odd number um, of collage images on here because otherwise it just was like two lines marching down. And so I added the, the smaller ones in the middle there to make it more 
visually appealing, the composition. Um, then I, I did think some about which way the faces were, were facing on the women. So I wanted them to be turning, looking inward towards each other. So that was how I figured out my composition. And then um, I have another glue here. I know we've been talking about different glues. And I told you that I think that probably the, the most useful glue for gluing on this weird, thin, shiny, you know, cheap magazine paper is Yes Glue. But Yes Glue also frustrates me because it's sticky. And I have this other glue that I've had for a long time and it's called uh, Perfect Paper Adhesive. And so I decided to try it today with my magazine pieces to see how it would work. The first one that I did, the one at the bottom with the blue lines, um, I, I didn't put it on both sides. I just put it on, on the magazine piece and I didn't put it on the background and it wrinkled. But the other ones, when I put the perfect paper adhesive on both the magazine piece and the background they actually it worked really well and they didn't wrinkle so I guess that's another option if you don't like yes paste um, I'm I like yes paste I'm not saying it's bad I'm just saying that it it's sticky when it's not dry and I ha don't have the patience to let it dry on its own I don't have the time right now to let it dry on its own I just don't have time so then in order to integrate my um, little cut out, well, torn out pieces, I started to add some other elements. This, this pink polka dotted uh, washi tape is from a package that I received recently. And I just kept, you know, I just tore off the tape and kept the little bits. And um, they're just stuck to my table. And I used them all up on this page. And then I had some other washi tape that has um, girly images on it's got little shoes so <laughs> and it had the right colors the pinks and purples and so I used a little bit of that washi tape just adding it here and there and um, kind of making it so there's not just those stuck on images on the page then um, what did I do next I must have went looking for something <laughs> I don't know must have been looking for something. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, yeah. I wanted to make a pink ribbon. You know what I really love? Two colors I really love together are pink and orange. And if you see um, that there's an ad that comes on um, during, I think it's, I don't know, it might be the Susan Col B. Coleman Foundation for Breast Cancer Research, maybe. And they sell a scarf that is for raising money for breast cancer research and it's it's pink and orange and it's the coolest looking scarf i don't own it but i wish i did um i don't really wear scarves because it's hot in arizona so it's you know it's not really something i would wear so i never have purchased it but i just i like those two colors together i think they're they look good together it's a cool color combination to me. So I used a gel print and cut out the shape of a ribbon because the pink ribbon, of course, is very iconic for breast cancer awareness, breast cancer research. And then my final little bit of integration is to add some stenciling. This is a way that you can integrate collage onto a background. And I'm using that very bright fluorescent pink paint from PBO Studio Acrylics. And um, I'm going to be, I'm going to gel print with that paint. And I'm going to be very excited because it's the right, it's the right consistency. Um, it's made by the same people that make the Dyna shimmery paints that I use all the time on the gel plate. So I'm, I'm going to be excited about that. But my last little thing was to print some words. And they say, check them before it wrecks them. That's about, you know, a play on check it before you wreck it. You know, uh, you know, check those tatas and make sure you don't have any lumps. I stick those on and I do a little bit of shading with a warm gray um, pet pin around the the uh, ribbon and the stickers, the the word stickers, and that's it. 
So I hope you enjoyed this page. I'll see you again tomorrow. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment, question, subscribe, turn on your notification bells, share, and of course pin and all those things. Those things help me out and I'm always appreciative when you do that. And if you leave comments, I always answer you, even if it's just a quick thank you. So that's it for today's page and I will see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, I went around the edge with the gray ink. <laughs> yep, that's it. Bye-bye.